All right, so I was tuning oscillator two. This is oscillator one, this is oscillator two. I was pointing to them the wrong way on the last um, one. Hey, have you noticed how this IC in between has like this metal mohawk it's wearing? Isn't that cute? That's a heat sink. That chip gets real hot, so uh, they have this uh, sort of square plate kind of riding right on top of it. That's pretty inventive. Okay, uh, enough of that. Um, so let's check out that. I'm gonna try and hold this with my arm. Okay, good, got it. Now I'm gonna switch over to the other. And as you can see, zoom, 440 hertz, 440 hertz. But it's not quite exactly right because if I mix them, you see how we're getting the constructive and destructive beating going on? So I'm going to, while I do this, I'm going to tune oscillator to even tighter. See if I can get that beating to stop. This is a bit like tuning a guitar. See the beating? This is... Remember, these are analog circuits, so... That's pretty slow. I think you have it. Let's try changing the waveform using the Kiwi upgrade controller. So, sawtooth pulse square. Let's try square. That's oscillator one. And look, there's a separate control for oscillator two. Square. So now they're both square waves. Isn't that cool? Okay, got the screwdriver in now. Not sure if I'm going to really be able to minimize this, but okay. Look, those guys seem okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Now, depends really on where you at what time you press down, but if I, uh, now this seems to be an individual voice related tuning issue at this point because, three, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So only voice five is completely uh, operating in sync with each other. So, <laughs> interesting. I'll have to look further into this.